Right, this is my first drive with a hat uh, camera mount. So I've just put the cap camera, camera mount on just to see how it works. So the only thing is, I'm not sure how the stabilization is going to work. And I've got to be moving my head a little bit slower than what I may usually do just so as not to get too much shake but you're kind of looking at what I'm looking at so which is good so this is going to be interesting <laughs> a drive with a hat on I've seen videos of this where people have done like the POV view uh, they call it a pov view um don't ask me what pov means so I'm trying to pov i'm sure the last word means view and maybe the uh, p is for person but anyway i'll get back to you on that one but i know it's called a pov view where the person's got a camera up on their head and they're filming while they're driving or whatever I wonder if you can see I'm sure you can see what I've done to the Tesla I've got a new Tesla Model Y I haven't done a video on it really to be quite honest with you I've done so much videos of the Model 3 I haven't really done much of the Model Y I don't know why and I've done some work on it and I haven't really put any videos up on it as you can see what I've done I've done the dash uh, well the wood fascia on the dash there and the side door they've got wood on there and I've put this orange covering on top of it that gives it a bit more color instead of like a well the wood was a nice color it's a brown color some people don't like it but I like it it gives it a more brighter cabin feel so um, and it contrasts with my seats which have got like a orange covering on the seat um, that I put on there as you can see maybe you can see that and the back seats as well I put an orange covering on it so I try to keep the same theme and <coughs> because the car's black and uh, I felt orange was a good contrast to a black car tell me what you think in the comments do you think it complements the car the orange uh, accents in the interior uh, I'll put this here as well this is a like a nice because this is just really a piece of plastic but I put this cloth thing here with a Tesla logo on it and um, I've done some work already which I didn't film I've put this screen that moves so I can move it over there if someone wants to watch the TV over there or obviously face it to myself a bit more because the Tesla's uh, don't move unless you've got the Model X or the Model S obviously but this one obviously is a, a, a mount that allows me to position the, the screen to my optimal viewing angle because when I bought the car it was just straight like this and it's okay but you kind of you can't really see it properly this side you know here's not too bad but here I'm looking but now look at that it's facing right where I want it I can see everything clearly I'm not sure why Tesla doesn't do that as standard it's only a mount I mean they put a fixed mount on just just purchase swivel mounts stick it on and then at least we can just move it but no it's a retrofit you have to buy it and do it yourself 
So I've done that. I did that on my Model 3 and I've obviously done it on here because this was the most important thing for me uh, was getting that done. I've got the automatic front uh, struts uh, waiting to be put on so I can um, press the open well open the front press the button on the screen or on my app to open the front and instead of me having to go around there and still open the front the front opens up fully automatically I did it on the model 3 and it was excellent I would just sit here like if my wife Jem if she wanted to put something in the front I would just press it it would open up fully she'd stuff whatever in there and I'd press close and it would close end of story really really good that was a good feature I've purchased that purchased it last year late last year but I'm waiting for the right time to put it in because obviously as you can tell it's cold and I don't like doing things in the cold and it gets dark very easily very quickly so again I don't want to be um, going to um, not finishing on time and then I'm stuck uh, not finishing it and it's dark so I want a good span of daylight available to me so I can take my time if I do it very slowly because obviously it's something that you have to be cautious with to get everything right I've got time to finish it because the daylight's going to be long enough for me because I'm not going to get up early to do it I need time so that's it guys I'm around my friend's place because he asked me to purchase a mobile phone so I've got him that Samsung A54 5G and um, I'm going to fit it for uh, well set it up for him so Okay guys, see you later.